Hi guys and welcome back to the vlog. I know I've been gone a couple of weeks now but it's been a crazy couple of weeks here. My health hasn't been too fabulous. But I am back and back to weekly vlogs. I'm going to try and get back up to two vlogs a week. But it might take me a couple of weeks because I need to get some planning and stuff sorted. And obviously I've got a lot going on with the guys I've got at home. But today I wanted to show you guys my two new pets. I think you might have seen one of them in my last video I did a couple of weeks ago. But there is another one now. So we're going to kick off by introducing the first one and then we'll go and show you the next one. Any of you guys have any ideas on what I've got, especially you guys on Instagram, let us know in the comments. Um, and yeah, no fast forward in into the video to work out what I've got. I guess it's down in the comments now. And yeah, let's start introducing my new babies. So here's one of my new babies. This is Marla. Can't really see it too great. Marla is a hypo leopard gecko. She's about four years old. She was given to me by a friend of mine who's having a little baby, so doesn't have quite have time for her anymore. But yeah, here's little Marleykins. And I'm gonna try and give Marla some food in a second. But I just gotta try and work out where I'm gonna stand my phone, as you all guys know that I record everything off my iPhone 7. So let me get her food ready and we can feed Marleykins. You want your breakfast, girl? Most important thing when you're feeding your leopard geckos is calcium dust. Leopard geckos get what's called melabotic bone disease, where they don't get enough calcium in their diet. Um, it's very common in the pet trade because a lot of people don't have the full information they need about their animals. So anyway, always need calcium dust. So I put mine in a little pot, and then as you can see, all the crickets are in there, getting nice and dusty. And then I'll start feeding Marla and Mowgli. Yes, I'm gonna get, unfortunately, guys, because I've had to balance my phone in her tank. Let's give Marley Moo some dinner. Miles, with this? What's this? You want it? No. Marla, come on. Come have some dinners. Let me see ya. So, Marla's being fussy. She doesn't really eat on camera. She usually gets fed later. What's this? What's this? Come out for it. Come on then. Come on, come out for it. Oh, so, so you guys can see her because she's in the dark. Come on then. There she comes. Come on, monkey. Yeah, that's for you. No? Okay. So, Mom's being a pickle and won't eat for you guys. So, what I'll do is I'm just going to check her if it's in and she can hunt. Because it is important to make sure your leopard geckos have as natural life as possible. So, obviously, allowing her to hunt is really good. Um, she's got nice loose substrate so she can dig because it is natural for leopard geckos to dig in the wild and um, they like to live in between slates of rock underneath things so she's got lots of places where she can dig and hide away her enclosure is doing upgrade so she's not gonna eat I can show you guys her tank this is her enclosure at the moment it is a little bit small there we go. I'm waiting for her upgrade to arrive she'll be going into a similar tank that the rest of my snakes are in the big bibs at the moment she's in this glass exoterra which is beautiful, I love Exoterra tanks, but it's not quite big enough for her anymore. But her upgrade will be here in probably about a week or so now. No, she doesn't want to eat, so we're gonna go upstairs and show you the other little guy I got. And this is little Mowgli. Mowgli is deep in shed right now and should start pulling off its skin today. But this is Mowgli's enclosure. Mowgli's got a nice big tank, so Marla will be going into a similar one like this. Hey Meg, do you want some dinner at all? So Mowgli has a couple of issues. I don't want to grab him really. I'm going to have to. Come here. So if you can see, I don't know if he's going to stay still long enough. Now we're going straight back in. Hi, oh, you in the water bowl. Hey, good boy. Mowgli's missing the tips of most of his toes. There you go. You can see he's got stumpy toes. Very stumpy toes. But he does really, really well. His shedding is now back to perfect. He doesn't need any help at all. Um, his last owner did everything he, she could for him. But unfortunately, she was constantly given wrong advice from big chain pet stores. I was told to keep him on sand and bath him when he needs to shed, which isn't right at all. If he can't shed naturally in his enclosure, there's something wrong with his temperatures and his humidity. So obviously, I've changed his bedding. He is now on this. So it is an orchard bark, same as Marla. Helps keep humidity nice and high. I also mix a bit of a coconut husk in there just to give him a little bit something to dig in they do enjoy digging. Um, I'm going to try and feed Mowgli. Mowgli is a pig. Um, I don't think Mowgli had great, well I don't know, he's just a little underweight. 
So somehow I'm gonna have to do this one-handed. Bear with me, guys. So I might have to pause and restart. Brilliant, guys. So as you can see, all this dust around as I've been feeding Mowgli for the last ten minutes, and my phone crashed. Oh, but we can see him hunting. Go on, Mogs. Good boy. Hey, the good boy. So you can see there's quite a bit of calcium dust in Mowgli's tank, um, where he was a little bit malnourished when I got him. I was quite worried that he was going to start to suffer with metabolic bone disease, but he seems to be doing really, really well. Eats like an absolute champion, as you can see. Do you want another one? No? Good enough now. Good boy. Yeah, I did have about a minute's worth of footage of him eating, but my phone crashed and deleted it. So we'll have to stick with this little bit of him hunting. But yeah, this is obviously Mowgli's enclosure. He does fabulously well. Look, there's one there, boy. Oh, it's gone under you. Okay. Let me leave you alone now. Yeah, is that better? Good boy. <laughs> Just see him licking his lips. Oh, good boy. Hey, babe. What's on here? You want this? Good boy. You are a fatty. Better. You. Good boy. Right, say bye to everyone then, Mowgli. Say bye. Bye bye. Alright everyone, I know it was just a short introduction to my two new pets at the moment, um, but I hope you enjoyed. Obviously they're doing really well, I am absolutely loving having leopard geckos, I don't know why I haven't had them before. Thought we'd end with showing you beautiful Maddie, she's had a lovely shed recently and is looking absolutely huge. Excuse the mess in the corner guys, I really need to clean. But she is getting absolutely humongous, ain't you baby? And you know you're beautiful. But yeah, Maddie is well and truly one beautiful snake and never actually holds too tight around my neck like I get a lot of comments like oh why do you let Maddie around your neck I've raised Maddie for four years I've had her since she was tiny she's very good she knows when I pull here she's too tight and she loosens up see if I pull her here she loosens up and she slips down my shoulder so she is really good she knows when mum's had enough um, I also think the pythons sense my pain a little bit and when my muscles are weak because they don't tend to pull me around as hard when my pain's bad which is something I want to look into a little bit more to see what they can sort of sense but it is quite cool Maddie, where are you going? Hey, that's rude, Maddie Rude Can't go down on mummy's top But anyway guys, thank you so much for watching and bearing with me while I've been off out for the last couple of weeks obviously you guys who know me well know that I do suffer with fibromyalgia and my pain does take control sometimes I've had massive issues with my shoulders the last couple of weeks and I'm having physiotherapy and all sorts of stuff Maddie stop it um, but yeah thank you guys for bearing with me I am always on Instagram snapchat Facebook you name it I'm there just vlogging has taken it out of me recently but I'm hyped to be back I hope you guys enjoy this vlog and a little glimpse back into my crazy world of looking after my babies hope you guys have a beautiful day and remember smile is contagious if you like the video give us a like thumbs up hit that notification bell and subscribe and I shall see you guys soon take care bye